right, y'all. We are back with another episode of Rise of the Ronin. <clears throat> we changed the whole fit. Our hair grew a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. We straight up warmed up for the first time. Suited and booted. We did a couple side quests while we was off camera. <clears throat> Man, what is going on? Hold on, let me get something to drink. So we did a quest with him. He actually hey. had tuberculosis. We cured him. We cured Soji, who also had tuberculosis, like I knew. What the hell? Where my, oh, because I got up here. I said, where the hell my shoes go? I never even noticed that. My shoes came off as soon as you get up there. Huh. Fine work. I knew you'd make it back unscathed. Getting yeah, right to it. snitch on everybody now. Who masterminded the attack on Roma at the Terada Inn? The Aburano Koji incident. You were at the scene too, I take it? Yeah, I was there. Yeah, Word was reached there. me Ito was planning to go rogue from the Shinsengumi. Attacking Romo must have been part of the plan. Clever stuff. Tarnishing the group's reputation to create a pretext justifying an independent split. Now I have the full picture of the Shinsengumi. All thanks to you, of course. We'll need to inform Saigo as well. Oh, look who's back. Perfect timing, actually. This soldier could really help us achieve our goals. We had something of an impasse. Can we bring him into the fold on this? Hmm. The day of reckoning is at hand. We joined forces with the Satsuma clan, but... Barely escape with our lives. How long can this alliance last? I fear it is built on sand. If we want to avenge Kusaka's death, we must act now. Genzui is dead. Shinsoku sick. And the realm are missing. Frankly, we need all the help we can get. I'm going to need you on our side. That may not be necessary. <laughs> well, well, look who it is. I figured you were dead. <laughs> or did you strike a deal with the Lord of Death? <laughs> I'm more surprised to see you still alive. I thought you'd be passing me on the way to hell. Sorry for all the worry I caused. But fear not, Oryo has fixed me up. Now. Without further ado, I've got a solution to your problems. With my plan, we won't even need to fight. Really? Look, it's not that I don't trust you. Let's just say that staring death in the face can be inspirational. <clears throat> There's no time to waste. We have to show this to Lord Yoshinobu. I intend to return this nation to a better era, oh, but the American people will need to be removed. I mean, the American name, though. Yoshinobu Tokugawa, the last shogun. A fine title for a history book, wouldn't you say? second y'all <laughs> all right let's get it Right, let's go. Dang, both of us ran this man with our horse. I'm 
glad for the opportunity to walk at your side again, my friend. So there's another quest, another uh, trophy. Damn, Ryoma, I don't know people. If we can get my proposals enacted, there'll be no more warring factions. Just think, everyone would work hand in hand for the good of the nation. I think one of the reasons why my videos is not getting a lot of views too is because I We all cussing. share the desire cussing. to make Japan a better place. And that's why we've got to set aside our differences and end the bloodshed. Now, but uh, there's a there's a trophy to a save Ryoma's life. There are eight proposals, and they were conceived aboard a ship. Yeah, one of these probably is, this quest might be here. Eight shipboard proposals. Ryoma, what the what? There are no guards. Something feels off. Best be prepared for anything once we're inside. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, but there's some battle. Alright, Ryoma, I don't care about you. How'd you miss Saito? So we not we we just played with Saito in the last quest. So we're not gonna play with him. We just played with her too. I don't think I've ever played with him on my team. I probably did, I just don't remember. I know I haven't played with him. I'm pretty sure I played with him before too. Kondo, I know for a fact I haven't played with. And the other old dude, and this dude. Like, I, I know some of these people I haven't for a fact played with. Matthew Perry, I played with before. Let's do. So, Kondo, I, te technically, I did play with Kondo, like, on my team, but, like, I didn't pick him on the quest. And that's, that's the thing I don't know about. Like, I didn't pick him on my quest to play with, he was already a part of the quest. I don't know. Maybe I did play with Kondo because I remember that 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 technique. Let me let me bring Big Boy, other Big Boy. I know I haven't picked him because I would I would never pick that as a, a add-on. Ready to give it our best shot? I'm ready. It's time to assassinate a bunch of people. There is no other way to get up in here with this guy other than to literally walk up on them. Good thing I got my ninja, my ninja clothes on. Bruh. Somebody was over here. Alright, just one person. I'm gonna turn back around. And I'm gonna assassinate him. So I've been hearing that uh remarkable feet. Uh Star Wars Outlaws has not been getting very great reviews. And I'm, I'm going to blame that straight on the fact that they let Ubisoft take that game. Now, I'm not saying that Ubisoft is Ubisoft. I'm not saying that Ubisoft is a horrible, horrible game maker. It's because they're not, but they're, one of their biggest games is Assassin's Creed. So, of course, they're going to try to make it any type of open world stuff, like, similar to that. Because that's, that's the game plan they have. Like, even though it's a Star Wars game, like, how, how can we... Assassin Creed, the Star Wars game, basically. That's part of how they was looking at it. And then the other biggest game is um, oh, is uh, Far Cry, which both of those games, some some people has a lot of issues. With it. Like like yeah, Assassin Creed has a, a, a almost cult following, like it's a like it's a uh, what's that game called? Call of Duty and stuff like that. I was like, but there is still a bunch of people that just don't like them because they're super repetitive. 
Cause it's like a Call of Duty. Well, I'm waiting. Just, just, just like a Call of Duty. A new one comes out pretty much every year. And it's almost the same stuff every time. Like, there's that's, that's not a huge difference to the Assassin's Creed. There is and there isn't. Like, they, they, they made a huge change at one point when they made it more RPG. They made it like RPG. And people complained so hard about it not being like the originals that they wound up changing it back. Damn it. Did they wind up changing it back? I think they said they changed it back for Assassin's Creed Mirage. They changed it back to like the original Assassin's Creed, but I think Origins was the first one they changed it to uh, the RPG like thing. Which I was completely fine with because I'm a big RPG player. So I'm going to always be fine with something like that. And the thing that makes me feel like I'm playing an RPG, I'm, I'm going to always be fine because like RPGs is what I play. Like that's, that's, that's my type of game to play. Like. If I have to pick a game, it's going to be an RPG, like, nine times out of ten. Because I like the uh, story and stuff that comes in, the lore that comes with it and stuff like that. Not saying that other games, other types of genres don't have lore and stuff that's with them. Action adventure stuff and stuff d does as well, but I just don't get behind them as much, like... Y'all take care of whatever's over there. Make sure nothing over here. Alright. But yeah, I think um they should have just gave it to Bioware, man. I think Bioware was I wanna say one of the last people to make a to make a uh to make a Star Wars game, but uh That's kind of what they should have done. And they should have stuck with the... So, before Disney bought uh, Lucasfilms and all that stuff and bought Star Wars, there was a Star Wars game in the in the making. I think it was called, like, uh, 1348 or something like that, whatever it's called. And it was supposed to be about Boba or Jango. One of them was supposed to be, supposed to be about one of them being in a, in a lawless world. And, and they should have... They scrapped that game as soon as Disney took over. They scrapped that game. Which is crazy. They should have kept it. it like it, it'll been dope because we didn't have. We haven't had a Star Wars game in, in a good Star Wars game for real, like in a while. And there has been some talks about remaking uh, Knights of the Old Republic, which I will be all all for. Knights of the Old Republic is an awesome game. Like if you never played the original, like it is an awesome game. One and two, obviously with two being a little bit better. But. Still being a good game no matter what. And I remember playing that when having my choices and stuff and like being deep into it and like loving it. So them if them if they remastered it basically and like revamped the whole thing, I I would still be for. I think a lot of people be for it too, that it'll bring forth some, some new fans and whatnot. I seen him at the last minute. It'll bring forth some new fans and stuff. Like I was saying yesterday too, uh if they redid Final Fantasy Tactics. Final Fantasy Tactics is by far my favorite Final Fantasy. It's actually the Final Fantasy that introduced me to Final Fantasies. Yeah, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a date myself right now, but I remember going to Blockbuster. I rented the game because you, you used to be able to rent games at Blockbuster. I rented the game on PlayStation, right? And uh, didn't know nothing about Final Fantasy whatsoever. Like, never even heard of it. Didn't know nothing about it for real. I rented the game. Played it, loved it so much that it, that that's why I went back and I looked for any other game that had Final Fantasy in the name to play. Cause I was like, hey, if, if this game is this good, like 
the rest of these games have to be great. I was like, let me see if there's another Final Fantasy. I think, I, actually, I think I might have heard about Final Fantasy. I just didn't know. I had never played them before. I think I might have heard the name before, but never really actually played them. That, that sounds more, because I was like, I, I went back to look for another one, and that's when I found Final Fantasy VII. Was not a fan. Like, I played it. I played the crap out of Final Fantasy VII. I played it, or whatever it could be. I rented it, and then I think I went and bought it. And uh, the only reason I never finished Final Fantasy VII was because uh, my disc that it was unreadable. So I never got to finish. I do remember my disc being, I don't know which way to go no more. I do remember my disc being so scratched up that I couldn't do anything else with it, so. Yes, all right, can I go this way? Yeah, I'm going through here. But uh, my next favorite, which is gonna be controversial, from Final Fantasy uh, Tactics, it's honestly Final Fantasy VIII. Like, I love Final Fantasy VIII. I thought it was a great game. I know some people do not like that game. Some people also like Final Fantasy IX. I like that too. Yeah, I, I like Final Fantasy VIII and IX. Obviously, I think, I think X and... Ten is also great, but Tactics is by far my favorite. Tactics Advance was actually pretty good. The Lion Gate Wars was probably even better than than the original. When they when they because because now I think why they did remake in a way they did remake Final Fantasy Tactics and they made the Lion Gate Wars, which is on the uh, PSP, and it was basically like an upgraded version, updated version of it. So they had, it had like voiceovers if I remember right, and it had. Uh, different cutscenes and like different characters and stuff you can get into it because they had it had uh people from like from, uh, the newer final fantasies on it and, and whatnot like i think i had people from like final fantasy 13 and stuff like that in it it, it, it was it was really good and I, I loved it a lot and then um obviously these newer final fantasies are pretty good like 16 and stuff like that is really good Give me a second, y'all. Give me a hot second. Something the matter. Hold on. But uh, and, and I, I like Final Fantasy. I've been for it, but I w I would love a. And when I say revamp Final Fantasy Tactics, I mean like I can't remember the name of because because Square Enix has made or Square Soft, whatever they call itself now, has made a bunch of games and they made this. I can't remember they they have a tactics game that they just made not too long ago, and it has graphics and not exactly like this, but like lifelike graphics with the people that are moving on a life size battlefield almost in a way, but it's tactics origins type type deal. And I can't remember the name of it, Don't but they made if they remade time. Final Fantasy Tactics in that type of style. I think it would be dope as hell, and I would still play it because it it basically feels like a <laughs> brand new game sure that you've never played before, even though it's Final Fantasy Tactics. The one of the things I did not like though when they remade uh, Tactics was they took out certain bugs that was in the game. Like there was a there was a bug that lets you uh steal this one dude's armor he had the masamune as his sword and he had the masamune's armor as all his armor pieces and basically you could go up to him and i i put steel on each one of my characters like steal certain things on each one of my characters basically and we basically surrounded him all around him and i basically had one dude that always had towards his back and was steal his weapon so as soon as you steal his weapon, all he's yeah, gonna do is keep punching you, and his punching is weak. His sword is what makes him have his uh, abilities, because on that game, like certain things will make you have your abilities, whatever. So him having a sword made him have his abilities. You steal his sword, he's now he just punching, he take him at like at most thing like ten damage. Very well. So he he was basically just a, a human steel bag. So we I literally just would surround him with thieves basically, or people that had thief stuff on them, because you had jobs in that game, and you can. Uh, change your job or you can if you already learned the skill you can put that skill on you with another job 
So I'll put like steel armor or steel helmet or steel uh, legs or whatever the case may be. I don't think it had legs. I think it was just armor and I think it was just a uh, helmet and uh, armor, whatever the case may be. And like steel weapon and stuff like that, case may be steel XP and steel uh, JP and stuff like that. I, I would put those on my class and basically I would I stole everything he had on him. I stole all his armor he had on him, stole his weapon, oh. stole all the experience he had, stole all the JP points he had. I stole everything from him and then we killed him. And I would do that to pretty much like every boss that I could steal stuff from in the game. I would just steal everything from them. Oh. But it, they fixed that in the Lion Gate Wars and stuff. And I was not happy uh, about that. Rats have snuck in. No matter. Oh, I'll deal bro. with you alongside the soldier. I'm at a better time. I need your help. What do you think I'm doing? Somebody get his American off me. This country no longer needs a chosen. Deserve it best by disappearing. I'm expecting. I mean, a couple didn't want to kill the Shogun anyways. Assassinating the Shogun? Why, you little... Let me go! Surely you must see how wrong this all is. The Shogunate is merely an army and it controls the government. This nation must be restored to its rightful state. Who better to guide it than me? One who truly understands Japan! So, that's what you're after. Throw him in the cells. We can't afford to antagonize Britain right now. You will be prey to the great powers. The sacred soul of this land will be lost, I tell you! What an odd fellow. No. I fear he set the nail on the head. Sometimes others see us more clearly than we see ourselves. You believe that drivel? Would you please take the time to look this over? I really think this might be the answer. At least, that's what I hope. Shogun adopts Ryoma's plan before the Satsuma and Choshu can strike, ending three centuries of Tokugawa rule. In the Imperial Court, former ministers and the most powerful clans gather to decide on the form of their new government. Daggone twin over there doing some crazy Is this nonsense. your doing? You formally relinquish power only to launch an offensive? That is nonsense. Someone is clearly trying to frame me, to drive a wedge between me and the new administration. I will not ignore this calum. You believe us to be behind this? I beg your pardon. My lord, you are not safe here. We must get away at fast. Hmm. So you oh, I still no forgot to, to put the clothes in the dryer. So I said I think we got like five quests left, but we're about to see. My, my twin being crazy, and I still haven't unlocked the trophy 
so I know for a fact there's still at least going to a couple quests left lines. because there's still tree trophies left. Like I said, Ryoma, answer me this: if the Shogun remains in the administration, and we haven't rescued Ryoma yet, so for our nation, the Tokugawa will contrive to take control again. Then they will surely crush us. The Tokugawa has come to settle things with firearms. Them. Who cares who comes out on top? The main thing is to find a solution that works for us all. Well, come on then. Do you have a plan? Uh, well, you know, uh, how can I put it? Uh, um, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I thought as much. Listen, let's think of something together. We've come this far after all. <sighs> Thank you. That would be very welcome. At this rate, there'll be no winners at all. Right, so now we got to talk to them and get this next quest started. But that was that. That's gonna be it for this video. I appreciate y'all taking along as usual. And uh, obviously, there's gonna be two videos popping up: the previous video and the next video. And you can subscribe if you want to. Hit that subscription button that's gonna be in the middle. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.